You ready? You ready? You ready? Brown holy water pouring out of the bottle. Like, share, comment, got it, and then follow. Black Live. Yeah, that's the franchise. Pull up every Sunday at 7 and get baptized. Brown holy water pouring out of the bottle. Like, share, comment, got it, and then follow. Black Live. Yeah, that's the franchise. Pull up every Sunday at 7 and get baptized. You ready? You ready? Welcome to another edition of Brown Holy Water. It's your boy Handsome Live back in the building. Hope everybody weekend or week was good. You ready? Uh, back again with all my lovely ladies, continuing the madness that we had. Ladies, please introduce yourself. But not even introduce yourself. Just say your intro. We'll come up with intros for y'all too. Go ahead, y'all. <laughs> See, we need to order something. I can't man. rap like Black, but uh, it's Tanya, Bob Girl, Tanya, Lakeisha. Y'all know who it is by now. It's good to be here, the family. It's your favorite songwriter and your favorite tomboy, Miss Georgie, <laughs> aka Danny. Slow better. Aka everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Sky, aka Skylandish on Instagram. Let's go. That's at the end of the show, baby. I mean, I, I'm gonna <laughs> no, say at the fine. beginning, the end. <laughs> plug, plug. Uh, and you know what? Let's jump right into it, cause last week we didn't even get. Yeah, we had this topic up yourself. last week. Nah, huh? we were lit you didn't even last introduce week. yourself. I did. I did it. You're you lying. Wasn't paying by attention. <laughs> I'm just lying, everybody. Hey. But um, last week we we had this topic up. We didn't even get to touch on it because we just kept going. The conversation was. <laughs> Definitely flowing, you know what I'm saying? It was a good, but uh, I started off with our third topic from the last one. Uh, we're going to talk about unprotected sex, you know. Ooh. The whole fiasco, the Usher thing, you know, that was just really like the the birth of this topic, you know. He out here giving people herpes and shit. Wow. <laughs> so, you, you know, you got to talk about some of the unprotected sex stuff, so... The first part of the, that's, for, that's the first question is: Have you ever had unprotected sex? The first time you had a, like a sexual encounter with somebody. Now, y'all don't answer that one. <laughs> 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 I, I I'll start it off there since the ladies wanna. Of course, I have. Like, you know, you do dumb stuff, especially with brown holy water in your system. You get caught up in the emotion, the passion, you know, jokes, and next thing you know, you. Your dick is just in some vagina and shit. Like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, but thank God, you know, by the grace of God, you know, I made you it know, out alive. Yeah, ain't, no, alive. ain't no magic, ain't no ushers over here. <laughs> so you know, but it's a mistake and it's happened. Can't even say it's happened once, but you know, it's happened. But uh, ladies, first time, take down. Like a nigga go wrong pickle? <laughs> what is going on? I've done it. I know you don't. But you don't even have to say nothing. They'll call you bad girl for nothing, girl. No, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the person I did it with, like, he ended up being my fiance. So. Oh, don't. You only did See, it one, listen one to time me. or one day. Listen dude? to me. Why are you asking all these questions? Because though? you just said the, old, the person you did it with was your fiance. The so person I, I did it with one time became my fiance. But okay. I, after that, it was like you just, you just I mean, listen. I, I I I grew up in Guyana, and at a time when, a time when I was a teenager coming into my prime, past puberty, into you know sixteen, seventeen, getting your first boyfriend and stuff. At that point in time, statistically, Guyana had the largest number. of of cases of HIV in the entire Caribbean. And at that point in time, I was also- In Guyana? In Guyana. At that point in time. And also, I was a part of a lot of, um, like, street campaigning and radio campaigning. I was part of a radio stream, serial drama called Marindoy, um, that was trying to get out the message of safe sex, protected sex. It was like, it was kind of going against what I was doing. If I was just going to be saying this online, be fucking people raw, it wasn't happening. But I did that before I got into all of this. So I, for me, like, it was just where I was growing up at that time. It was really serious. Like, protective sex was something that was a, it was, was a big fucking so deal. So at this time in the moment, you just, you, you, hell bent, you hell bent on protective sex. At right? that point in time. 
Now. I'm talking about now. Oh, that point. That's about now. I have a boyfriend. Oh, so it's real pickle all day. Facts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My man, Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Oh. Shit happens. Yeah, you got two kids. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you shocked the world. People didn't believe you had two kids. I don't. Yeah. People, when I, I tell yeah. people that, especially when I tell them the age, and they be like, well, how old are you? Like, but I have. Shit happens. Multiple occasions, right? Um, No, not multiple occasions, but I have. Just shit happens? Oh. It has to be a level of trust. I mean, it ain't just I meet somebody, we have unprotected sex. Yeah, it's it's like some like se- like semi established like somebody you've been I, I can't how you establish it the first time you there's had no, sex. there's like there's no justification right, like, for it. I'm about to I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I mean that's the first time you uh, met yeah the I'm gonna justify it for you guys I <laughs> <laughs> first time I had sex with Drew I didn't use protection but we was waiting three months what that mean that like mean, for me I was tested? with him I was with him every day yes I, I was with him every day like you know what I'm saying like so it was like every how you with him every day for three months and y'all it took that long to have sex it happened. It's just it don't happen. They waited. She had yeah. a night in their rules. I had like it was like under it was on my rules. Like we were sleeping in the same bed, everything. Like I what? Just, Why you don't do that to Drew? Don't do that. To Drew. <laughs> <laughs> don't, sleep, don't do that. This man's a hot night seven. It was a train. <laughs> Don't do that to my I'm boy. I'm sure it's never, I'm sure, I don't know, maybe it has, but in my, like, for me, we just created a more of so a bond. Thing. So he was the only person that went raw first time. Yeah. Right? These questions, yo, like. I'm just saying, it's real life crazy, shit, because right? <laughs> people get caught up in the passion. I'm saying it stemmed from, I'll tell you the Usher thing, because nine times out of ten, right, let's just say you meet the person that you've been crushing on forever. Everybody got a celebrity crush or whatever. It's like me, fucking Nia Long. And I see her in the supermarket. She's like, yo, I want you, I want you. I ain't gonna be like, hold on, let me run to Alf 6 and get this condom. <laughs> no, I'm gonna fuck Nia Long right there and then it'd be it. But that's probably how the chicks get caught up with Usher maybe. Like, that one time it was gonna go down. You ain't gonna stop and say, yo, go get the condom. You look at him as that. Or they were just life. hoping that they, they, they had a baby and they that were too. about to come out. Some people do that too. Like, That's they, a they lot hope of women that. But then again, how did they prove that that was from, directly from him? Is my question. Because he paid. You ain't no, no, gonna pay right, her, but it. what about all the other that doesn't mean he yeah. could have got it from somewhere. If I don't else, have herpes, he just don't want anybody if I don't have herpes, anything. I'm not paying nobody. Now, if I have it, I'm gonna pay him. Right? Because you like, listen, the paperwork right here, how I give you herpes? Yeah, but you also don't have like. A hundred million dollars. But listen to what I'm that telling too. you. To listen, listen to what I'm telling you. Know you. What I'm saying? Yeah, this is the way you protect it. If you don't have it, how could I infect you with it? You mean if you don't have it? I should pay because he clearly has the um, herpes, right? Mm-hmm. If, why would you pay money if you ain't got something? Or maybe she just knew he had herpes and they give it to her, right? But, but he still was, has herpes. She was cool with it. And then <laughs> when he tried to break things off, she was like, all right, fuck that. I'm going to tell the Maybe. world. And then also, some people feel that unprotected sex is a way of catching feelings faster. That is the way of so catching they, feelings faster. I can't fall over Listen, some people, like, some people, we go, we go listen, I've never heard a bitch go crazy with a condom sex. If you go crazy with a condom sex, Even something's wrong God. with you, sis. That's what I said. Something's wrong with you if you go crazy with a condom sex. I'm just saying. It's but It's a different feeling. It's a different so feeling. It's, it's a whole, because once, once that condom comes off, that's, that's like you telling somebody, I trust you with my life. Literally, I trust you with my life at this point yeah. in time. So it's like, so it's a lot of people use it as a way of either showing trust or a way of like solidifying your mind. Okay, this person's with me or for me. But at the same time, there are people who don't respect it as that. It's just kind of like I like the feeling, and if you get burned, you get burned, bitch. Who yeah. told you not to have a condom? Niggas be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Niggas like going raw because you can't you can't even tell like if the pussy good if you fucking with a condom. Isn't, I like, guess, but, it's still, like, but but it's still a level for a woman. It's a level Facts. of trust. Burning your tongue and tasting food, like <laughs> what is that? It's, it's horrible. Like you know what I'm saying? Very restricted. Sky. Yes. You still with us, girl? I'm still with you. Sorry, it's going in on the comments of my life. I'm trying to read them. I got bad eyesight, so, so right. it's just real life. All right. Well, since everybody's now. Well, I mean, you're in a relationship. You're in a relationship. Mm-hmm. So I'm, y'all ain't fucking. You in a relationship? No. So you only protect the sex. They only protect the sex and stuff. But my thing is like, I I heard like a woman tell a man get a condom for oral sex, right? <laughs> I've never heard a woman say get a dental tear <laughs> to get their pussy. Why is that? Like women so big on like 
like protect the sex, right? <laughs> I've never seen a dental exam in my life. <laughs> why do women? Why would? Why do women? All women let men eat them out because they could clearly have herpes in your mouth and all types of fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. But I even heard the girls like, I ain't fuck him. I let him eat my pussy, but he ain't use no dental gel. He already swallowed the AIDS, bro. Exactly. <laughs> he passed it to you. He yeah. the AIDS, bro. He kind of lingers that HIV right in your kitty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, oh my god, I've never yeah. told a guy to get a dental dam. It's three women. I love dental dam over there. We gotta use protection. No, you can use it. Have, wait, have, that, have any of y'all? I've never done it. Have any of y'all ever used one? Used no, sir. No, protection no. no, no sir. I wanted to, I wanted to, <laughs> wait, what do you mean? Like a dental dam. Yeah, put your, cover your shit up, wrap it up. No, no. Preserve it. You know what it is? They don't really promote that as much as they do condoms. So it's kind of like, you actually have to search for that. Like they don't give that away for free. But if you believe in, in, in if you believe it's in like, like it's like miseducation it's, too. It's it has a lot to do with miseducation. We we get educated so much about penetrative sex. We don't get educated as much about with oral sex. It's we always don't, but it's, it's always like everything. don't get pregnant, don't get AIDS. But they don't ever emphasize you can get certain diseases Facts. from oral sex. Also, around I've never mouth. in terms of the education I had around uh, just sexual activity and avoiding it. I don't remember them putting as much emphasis on oral sex and get you can put you in as much sauce as but you're an penetrative educated, sex. You're an educated woman. Huh? Why is he that die or don't bro? Everything. Is he the right die or don't? I'm this <laughs> point <laughs> in my life. It's, you, not, it's time to go. I feel, but <laughs> but I, God I, gonna take me, gonna take me. Word? <laughs> so you you don't let Shut him go out for the head? You say that <laughs> I also feel I also feel like Letting the guy give you head is a level of trust too, because I don't let just anybody give me head. Like if you come to me, like oh, I just wanna, I just wanna like taste you or eat it. Like to me, I feel like you do that with everybody. Some you know niggas what I mean? opening so, line is that, like, don't and that's disgusting to me. Good. Like that's yeah. disgusting to me. Like but some that's girls a off to me. Yeah, some girls just they still do it. They nah, but eat them but out. I'm talk, I'm just speaking. I'm I'm I mean I don't know. I don't know how you guys are, but like if a guy just So it's never like been it's yeah, never yeah, nah, it's like, never a dude boy, on your roster that, that, that you yeah. just like eat your box. Yeah, but you it but it, it wasn't but no, I didn't make <laughs> him put on a dental dam at all. No, like see, you got to get the real feeling. Like I I never I wanted to use a dental dam before just out of curiosity because I've never used one. It didn't happen. I should have gone to the show. I have. Like, I took True. sex ed. I took sex ed. I'm, I tried a female condom before. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> He's annoying. Yo. They got a female condom, yes, though? You know they have a female. Don't play with Dick me. Dickhead. I, I can't stand like, you. I really real, can't stand Like, stop you. acting uneducated what is it? up here. It's the condoms that's designed for females. Who is it? Were you like saying reverse? that, Joe? Uh, yeah, it's like a reverse. It actually goes, I think, inside. Yeah, the and the and the. Uh, so why girls be getting mad when the condoms the round get stuck part inside? Of it, it covers your <laughs> cervix, your vagina, walls, yeah, and your yeah. cervix. The, the, there's a ring in the back that covers you. For, it, your, co- your, it covers your, everything. Your cervix, then it's the outside, outside part that spreads out and covers the entire vulva. See? Thank you. You ever use one? <laughs> and you can you, unlike a male condom you can use a um, female condom more than once like in the male condom you exactly you gotta take it off and throw it away the female condom you can reuse it until mm-hmm. you're done and then take it you out once bro <laughs> let's do it I told you it was part I of like certain campaigning to certain like sexual yeah. things but you never have protected oral sex so you're a fraud because there's <laughs> mis- <laughs> <laughs> you the fuck up son like there was just miseducation, and then not for nothing with penetrative sex, you 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 naturally damage the vag- vaginal walls easier. You have bruises, so you got cuts, and then there's open to lines in your bloodstream. She's so fucking educated. Who <laughs> knows they had books like this in Diana? <laughs> you like you. they didn't have condoms. No, they had in <laughs> other countries, that's what they focus yeah. on. Like, no, it's like China. But that's or why they, that's they why. focus on everything. You and know, that's not America, another reason why on. they focus more on penetrative sex and actual oral sex. Actual oral sex, like you know, just you just. Sucking and pulling or whatever, but vaginal sex is actually rough. You tearing skin, you tearing walls. Now you have open wounds. Mm. It's easier for someone to pass in. Yes, that's why. And it's easier to and it's easier to get. Uh, that it's easier to get HIV through anal sex than 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 vaginal sex because anal sex is drier. Mm -hmm. There's no natural lubrication in there, so you bruise easier. Mm -hmm. That's why they have. uh, There's another reason why there's 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 a lot of there's a lot of stigma around homosexuality having more AIDS easier than people who have vaginal sex. Mm Just read a book, bro. Read a book. Ooh, nah, I ain't got deep. no time for that. <laughs> Sky, did you answer? Did you gotta no, use yes, a dental dam? Yes, I did. And I, oh no, 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 no. You ain't never, never. No, no, no. I've seen one. I've opened one before. I just never used one. Mm. Like, Why not? 
I'm pretty sure you have men in your roster that you know only lick it and never what? stick okay, it. Okay, you know what it is. Oh, yes. Yeah, you know what it me. is. Is that? <laughs> so, yeah, tell me. <laughs> um, it's more so that one when, when you're in the process of foreplay, right? I feel like I'm 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 gonna get mine first. <laughs> so, <laughs> fellas, ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> ladies so first, it's fellas. natural if a man wants. Hey, you put a you'll put you'll put a condom on because they'll probably get some afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Whereas no. the first <laughs> that's not natural. I, I disagree. <laughs> Whereas the first step for me is like, all right, you gonna go down on me? I'm not about to go pull out a dumb pencil. Why not? And then use that, and then have to go grab a condom too. Like that's just you don't have many. to grab a condom. It was a reusable. Didn't you, you say that? They are reusable. Oh, Good so job. Then, I'm, ju- I'm thinking. See, even in my mind, I'm like, oh, I gotta separate the two. I can't even u- double use this. Like, <laughs> Can you, mind, use like, kind of, <laughs> can you use the both together? What? Uh, you're not. You know, it's not recommended because it it can't all recommend it because one damages the other and it could cause rips and that's like easily. using putting on two condoms. You two condoms. You're, you're not supposed to put on two condoms. I barely put on one, baby. <laughs> you a dickhead. It's like I think I got it, two kids though. So. You're so stupid. I think I think it um I think it really boils. It really boils down to like how like 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 I said first miseducation. We we. We tell people only so much, and then there's also a whole bunch of other resources. Like, like it's like contra- it's like contraceptives for women. Like some people only know about the depot shot and pill, but there are like four or five other types. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, the a, ring, I'm, the I'm ring. like I'm, the a, I'm on Implanon. Like I'm, a, I'm on, I'm on the, you got the, the implant? I have the implant in my skin. I love implant that is dope. Implanon, get that shit. Three years, three years, three years. I've actually never been on birth control. Never been on birth control in my life. Every month because nah. I know the depo and Why all you want to bleed because I know my period is here every month and I know it's regular when you on the depo when you want something yeah. that stops that mm-hmm. like stops your period it regulates your period and sometimes it's hard to get so pregnant when on, you want you're to not yeah. the, the implant on however you're still though trying to get pregnant? See the, see the implant no. <laughs> <laughs> the don't take it out the one the one thing about implant when you take it out you, you can regulate right away I know my body right now so. I don't want my I don't want my system well to I've change. never been oh, on birth control like, it emotional works emotional and stuff it works for me and your nipples be sore nah but it's just miseducation like because we're not it's like if you're not exposed to something how would you no. You know, like, it's just like, what, how are you supposed to know something you never taught me? It's like putting a test in front of somebody with something you never taught them before mm-hmm. and expect them to pass with, with, with an A grade. If, I, if you're never exposed to something, I won't know, so I won't practice it. I won't that's not true. Practice. That's not true because I'm one of those type of people that if I don't know, if I don't know something, I don't like to know. I don't like to not know. So if I don't know something, I'm researching it. Like, so I'm you going research through- your dental dams? Um, yeah, I so why weren't you using them then? Because exactly. I didn't want to. <laughs> Thank you. That's Why the not? bottom line. I cho- that was my choice. I didn't want to. I want to know. I want to feel fit. exactly what somebody's tongue feel like. Point blank. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and what they lips feel like. And I was that too, crazy. Like, the truth is, if, you you, if you never use, use a, the dental dam. If dandle. I want to use a condom and then you like, go oh, now, nah, you need to put on But I wouldn't do I that. That's a difference. What's the difference? The difference is. Let me tell you something. And then I'm not a and another thing is like is like protection is just okay. another way of like showing somebody how much you trust them is also a way to hurt them. You know what way to hurt a nigga? You fuck him raw for a couple of weeks. And then one day he's like, When you come and bring a condom, watch that fuck the shit up the, out of his head. Like niggas don't like that shit. Because it says if you've been you having a shut up. You no <laughs> Dickhead. Are you tell me put a Trust me, on that shit head. happens. Like I have I've had cup, talked to a couple Wait. of my guy friends. They were like, yo, no. I've I've been I've been hitting this Some bitch raw for a long time. And all of a sudden she invited me even to me bring a condom when I'm coming. I'm not what gonna the fuck come. she think? Like they I'm really go wow. in. What? It's what another if she's ego scared? thing. What if she's scared that she might get pregnant? It's okay. But I'm saying, like It's okay. We don't gotta have sex no more. It's not that you That's know. It's not that thing. simple. Shut up! It you, is an ego guys thing. Guys and their egos. Yeah. How's the ego? Why Girls do, you know? because do I, that. Why do you choice. feel away? I don't want. I don't but feel away. But why do you? You do I feel like, away. No, I want to have raw sex. Girls do that. Thing is it's about compromising. You can't. You didn't want to wear. I mean, you didn't want to use a dental dam. And if I'm having sex with her raw, she tell me put a condom on. I don't want to have. I don't want. I rather not have sex. But my thing is, nobody ever said I don't want to use a dental. I never said I don't want to use a dental dam. Nobody doesn't like it. I just didn't use it. I decided not to use it. If I'm hitting raw and then she tell me put a condom on. I don't want to have sex no more. Some because you, your ego is hurt. You sound why? 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 <laughs> why? Why you don't want to no more? <laughs> why? Tell him to holler at me. I'm why? immature because I don't want to use a. Con- That's like he you won't answer me though. Bro. He won't answer me. Why? why? No, why? This I'm telling you why. If I'm already established, like I'm over here hitting raw, 
I'm feeling her and everything. And then, not feeling her, but like feeling her. And then she's telling me to put a condom on. I'm not going to feel him. I'm not going to enjoy the sex. So why do I need to have sex with you? Would you ask why? What? Would you at least ask why? No, I'm not kidding. You don't care about the why. You just care about the fact that she said she don't. I just care that I can't have real sex now. <laughs> and so why do I need to have sex? That's not selfish. That's selfish. That's you telling selfish. me how? That's selfish. If she says she wants to use a condom and you say no I'm not fucking her no more, that's selfish. Hey, what's selfish? You can't about discuss it if y'all if y'all been having sex for a while and she said I could I would question it honestly like why why all of a sudden you don't want to use a condom but to just be like you know what she don't want to I want to have sex without a condom exactly. and she want to have sex with a condom I'm not fucking her no more yeah. that's selfish. That's not selfish. If you've been I... if you've been having sex with her obviously you guys have some sort of connection or some sort yeah, of our connection relationship. Was more. Now you're putting a barrier. You putting <laughs> this barrier between us now. I don't want to barrier. It's it's a not barrier. Right. Because at that barrier. point in time, once the condom comes off, there's there's no longer a barrier. It's like I trust exactly. you. Exactly. So everything. why are you trying to put so that when shit you, back so on? So when somebody asks to put I'm the good. condom back on, it's them saying motherfucker I don't trust you no more. And, I'm good. and it hurts the ego bitch. Thank no, you. Why it hurts the ego. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Like trying to say this. How's it hurting my ego? Cause I don't want to. Because that is hurting everything. Because everything everything that crazy. comes it's out of your mouth like, is the ego. Like for you, yeah, 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 everything. Which is you, most men. For you, it's almost like a downgrade. Yeah. Right? It is a downgrade. Exactly. Like, but it's not. But if it's, it's a, a downgrade, downgrade to me, you telling me it's not, but it is. But, but how? Me, about, okay. But I get to come to this restaurant, I eat the full buffet all the time. But lie. And then I come to one day, and you like, nah, you only can eat uh, the celery and the salads today. Lie. I'm like, oh, go somewhere lie. else. Fuck <laughs> However, here. lie. I don't want to eat this buffet no more. I can't get the full Bro, package. You you're not going to ask why? you just going to say fuck it. Right. Lie, but condoms are also a form of contraceptives, too. Maybe maybe my depot shot came out. I, I, I couldn't get it. it. I just and said, I don't, don't want to use a condom now. That sounds too shaky for me. You telling me to wear a condom? I don't trust you. Why's your pull out game popping? Huh? You got a mean pull out game? No, my shit trash. All right, then. So you got two kids. <laughs> okay. All right. So if your pullout <laughs> game is whack, if your pullout game is whack, and she feels like nah, I'm so like, we, like you said, she could be off and, her birth and control. Listen, you ready to have another kid? And listen, I didn't say nothing bad about. Her. I just said I won't have sex with her. Why okay. do I want to have sex? I'm good. Fine. I'll pass. Why you didn't why? ask though? Why you ask why you want me to do this kind of? Well, everybody knows you how you feel me now. Wrong. So they know, not okay, if I want you to do I'm out. No more, nah, if you fucking I, me wrong, totally what if I do my vagina becomes your business, bro? I'm just saying. Thank you. Once you once we go wrong, what if I do my vagina? Just like whatever you do with your dick becomes the other becomes your business. If you have an unprotected sex, that means that whatever you do, your partners, whoever, need to know whatever it is you're doing because if you're having unprotected Take the sex with one person and just say you're fucking somebody else and you decide, you know, you don't like using condoms and you have an unprotected sex with another person, they have a right to know because God forbid that person is having some sex with somebody else and right then they know. catch something and you, then you, you can't. You're playing a risk game. Yes, everybody, everybody can lie. Everybody can lie. Everybody can lie, but that means that I right still to have a right to know if I'm having unprotected sex with somebody. I need to know you what the fuck you're doing with your dick. You should be having unprotected sex with people that ain't your men. So you out here you're fucking somebody right. who ain't your men, uh-huh. you don't got the right to know shit. Yeah, absolutely wow. Right. That's a fact. If that's, that's a, your man... That's a her... Oh, she got herpes. Next exactly. topic. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Next topic. Next topic. Next topic. You can't even argue with him because he's going to keep going. I need a no. better topic. This is going nowhere. If you ain't in a relationship, you don't have the right to know anything. You risk your life. You risk your life. Because he ain't saying, who else you out here How you know that? Nah, niggas ask. And niggas do ask, especially. Like, your know. life is on the line when, you're, when you're having unprotected sex, I, your life is on the line. Point blank, period. And well, I, I listen, care about my the way this country is. So yeah, I'm, if I'm at, like, wait, I'm going to ask also, questions. The way if you this... don't answer, then you know what? Right, on, I know on, I'm on, not wait, fucking wait. with you. When I talk, y'all shut up. I'll get to the next part of this question, all right? I'm going to let you have that. What's the next part, No, no, all right. Because you already said, you already kind of Don't feed into it. Yeah, you already kind of answered earlier. I said, normally, how long... Uh, does the sexual part take before y'all have unprotected sex? Do y'all go get tested or is it just pure trust? Now you already know. Can you repeat that? Like, how long does it take, like, for you to go get tested? No, be raw with a person you're having sex with. Is it pure trust or do y'all go get tested? Like, I fucking we can do. I answered that question. You said you're yeah, you're (laughs) you're ahead of the game right here. I mean, I you kind of answered too. You like what? I think you want some trust shit. Like, I, yeah. I got to disclose you. Somebody got to disclose all types of information. No, it's not even about disclosing all types of information, but once again. All right, so how you feel about that? You go get tested or you just pure trust? you like, um, I, I've been fucking with him two months now. We've been having honestly, sex. Honestly, so I would say trust, but I don't, home. I don't mind going to get tested together at all. Like, I don't. But it is a, tr- it's a trust thing. It's a, it's communication. It's, it's a, it's those things that, you know, 
when you have unprotected sex, once again, like there there has to be some level of trust. You trust in somebody with your life, like Tanya said. So mm-hmm. there has to be some level of trust. There has to be some type of dialogue or whatever between you and that person. You know what I mean? But like I said, I don't mind going to get tested together. <coughs> like that's even better. It does I don't ha- we don't have to do it, but it could be a suggestion. You can't have no level of trust for the person you had sex with the first time, like you said. Mm-hmm. But you don't know how long I knew that person, or you don't know what the situation is. Sorry, you could know a nigga that's burning for a long time. He not even know it. Yeah. And you just fucking you just got it. He was so it. nice. It happened. Scratch, you scratch. Make <laughs> make scratch. Make what being a human is one nigga says scratch, 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 scratch. Outbreak, outbreak. Asshole. <laughs> I mean, for the most part, you can't call it. Like, if you're really about to you get... You cookie got tested? No. But for the most, (laughs) you a fucking dickhead. But for the most, I'm I'm being real. Like for the most part, the textbook answer is you gotta wait three to six months for test results to get anything concrete Mm -hmm. for us to say like let's go ahead. And even with that shit, still depending on the person's genetics and how their makeup, certain things might still not show up in those tests. So no matter what, you can go get tested, wait a year, and still not pretty much risking your life whenever you fuck somebody. Whether you test or not, (laughs) just don't fuck them. Whether you test or not. Whether you test eyes, there's no 100% guarantee you'll see what you want to see or what you're looking for in a test result. So it still goes back to, I right, well, your test says from three months you do nothing or six months you do nothing. Um, I'm going to still go ahead and risk it. And then a year later, your ass got herpes or HPV or genital warts or AIDS mm-hmm. or some shit. And they didn't show up in test results. Like when the time you were testing, think you being a good person by... By following the rules and waiting three months or waiting six months and then go and get tested. It's there's no rule, there's no there's no golden rule to it. It really does boil down to hundred percent trust. They go down to trust. What what you yeah. got what I do believe in whatsoever, don't be fucking three, four, five, six people raw because if something does happen to you, who the fuck you point a finger at? Mm-hmm. And that's the thing people don't do. Like if you if you got if you got one partner, two because y'all niggas nasty. <laughs> if you got one partner <laughs> If you got one partner, you should have one partner you're 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 having sex with, uh, uh, whatever. If something comes up or happens, you know there's one person to go to, and look, little motherfucker, I got a little itch and it's not itching the way it's supposed to itch. And we gotta go do that <laughs> shit. And ain't just a no, scratch. It ain't my it hair ain't growing scratch, back. My nigga, like, <laughs> my, my itch got fluids and shit. My itch not supposed <laughs> to have fluids. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alice, Alice, I'm being real. I can't like, we do our full STD shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, at I'm least you know, no, like, at least you know, like, at least you know that this is the person I'm going to. But when you want to be four, fucking four or five, six, seven people like Usher did, now he got how much law? The amount of people you fuck raw is my loss he's going to have now. Because he was, he was. Letting it burn. Where, have some where, respect where, where for your dick. Where, point that's blank. so. Have some respect for your dick. Where did he, where he, innocently, too. where he didn't know or at the point in time or he was just one of those, I'm going to just fuck raw and just pull out because my pulling is strong, but they knew he had herpes or knew he had herpes. At the end of the day, the amount of people he infective is how much loss his, his ass is about to have. You know, he was the person that had to sit and decide, well, I had sex with X, Y, Z in this period of time. They, they may or may, or may not be infected. Now I got to come out of pocket millions for that. It's the same thing on a small scale. Like you're responsible for people you also have sex with, even if you want to think that or oh, they made a decision. Like you're still responsible shit. for their health to some but extent. How do, but and women how do still we gonna fuck Usher Raw. He gave it to these women. Like how? Like, Scott, you you missing a big picture. You missing a if whole I'm big picture. Positive, if I'm positive, having sex with her. He still got her. I don't think y'all understanding what I'm saying. I'm saying that. Yeah, let me see. I'm so now bad. what we're saying is somebody who already has herpes mm-hmm. knows Usher has herpes clearly, and it's like, oh, Usher had sex with me, and I have herpes. How are are they testing that Usher gave them herpes? There's no way to oh, know. There's no way but to listen, test. my question. But however, no, however, no, however the, the point is he exposed them to it. He doesn't. It, he don't have to ex- infect them directly. But if you expo- if I know you have herpes positively, and I test positive fit, I could have fucked somebody else. I had herpes too. And they are they proving me. text messages? Like, they're, they're, they're How are they proving? proving? If, sure if Usher has it, lawyer, if Usher has saying. it, and you have it, and you expose me, you put me at risk, and that's what lost is around. It's not the infecting; it's putting me at risk. No, but I'm, what I'm no, saying, saying is, I know what you're saying. You're saying like, like this. Where's the ev- what evidence? Look, like, where's the evidence? Like, yeah, I want to yeah, know, like, like concrete like, information. Like, HIV, I can't believe the blogs. We're not going to know. Unfortunately, I would never, know. ever believe the blogs. Believe me, I've been there. I understand mm-hmm. what they do. I know what they True. do for mm-hmm. a fact. And people I lie. Like they like make that. shit up. It's out of control. Only if people that. understood. Like, so I was like, I need concrete. I see no concrete evidence. I could really give you a true story. Like, but I've seen no. Usher has it. 
All right, he, he has it, right? That's but, concrete. Do, but did he give these I don't ten know about women? However, what herpes. I what I did here is in the dissertation that they did. What happened is he sent the papers to them saying that he may have exposed them to mm-hmm. it. And he went to like a hush hush suit. If you have oh, it, I'm going to give you this. Yeah. But so, the girl got a lawyer back when she tested positive and came harder for whatever he was offering them because he's admitting like I have it mm-hmm. and I, gave, I basically gave it to you. And when he's she married, had it, correct? No, he's huh? not married no more. Not he's married. not married. Not married. But what's happening now is because the girl tests positive and he's positive, she came at him with a harder lawsuit as in, okay, well, you gave it to me. Well, knowingly. So it's like, you know, like you're saying, like attempted murder, like you somebody get somebody A's and somebody S T D. That's what's happening right now. So it's not like she's saying you gave it to me, but he put it he put himself in it. But he's also anticipating if people start finding out mm-hmm. they have eight, they have herpes. It really is a serious thing where somebody if somebody knowingly has S T D and has unprotected sex with you, knowing that they have an S T D, it is a motherfucking So he didn't lawsuit. know. We're assuming he didn't know. But when he found out, he went back. He backtracked to uh-huh, the different like, women. I, I expose you. That's, Here's a million. Be quiet. Let's move God. on to the second. Let's move on to the second topic of the show today. Uh, this is also a big topic, you know, especially for y'all women. I'm pretty sure y'all deal with these type of niggas all the time. We don't talk about fuck boys. Mm. Now, I'm pretty sure there's like a million definitions for a fuck boy. Like you can't really put a, a fucking well, first of all, all right, before we get to the, you know what I'm saying, the, the meat and potatoes of the fuckboy situation, okay. quickly, what is a fuckboy to you? Quickly. I'm going to go last. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody. Quickly. Fuckboy. Somebody who ain't shit. Who, <laughs> <laughs> somebody who, somebody who, they just talk a good one, but they right, fuck fucking, it. they ain't shit. Wait, wait, wait all right, fuck it. We're going to do it like this. <laughs> this is how we're going to break it down to fuckboy. We gonna just throw out a whole bunch of like examples. We gonna say yo, yo, fuck boy, if dot dot dot. Okay. Mm-hmm. So shoot away. <laughs> yo, you fuck a fuck boy if you got a girl and still trying to bag son. You fuck. are a fuck boy if you have a whole relationship and still trying to bag me. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's your fuck boy for that one. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you you ain't supposed to lie on your dick. Not a, and if you eat the pussy, you, you that's not a body. <laughs> I keep y'all remind these niggas. That's not a body. No dental damn. <laughs> <laughs> Sky, you got You a fuck boy if you lie. I don't got time for that. If you if lie? You, fuck yeah. that. I ain't got time. Everybody lie. You, better, you can lie about that. your mother. You still I a fuck boy. I ain't got time. For real. That's too fast. Like, like, no, nah, it's not. Nah, it's quite honest. Yeah, you not a fuck boy if you lie. Grown. Sometimes yes, you gotta lie. Sometimes you gotta lie. Here. No, you don't. You never have to lie. Why? Ever. You don't have to lie. You gotta be honest. Ever, if your mom says that I ain't shit, I want to know. I, if I ask you what your mom said about me, you lie. That's a lie. Now you gonna have to cover up that lie. <laughs> I, I yeah, want to know. Stop lying. It's just a fact. I say you a fuck boy. You, you don't take care of your kids. I was gonna say that. That's that's it a big one. A See, I don't boy. date men with kids. kids. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> we already discussed that. We did. I said I don't really date men with kids. Oh, so yeah, we already had right. that discussion. It just hurts every time I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't take care of your kids though. You a real life fuck boy. You a fuck boy yeah. if you just don't want to settle down. Whoa, it's a certain time a man gotta settle down. Uh, but then you get to the you know point what? eventually. You a fuck boy if you string a girl along a and make her think that you know what I mean that you gonna settle down, but you're not. You a fuck boy if you you've been what? in a relationship you with what? somebody what? for five years Uh-oh. and you ain't take the next step. That's a fuck. Back, back, so nobody back. got time for you to be waiting <laughs> ten fucking years for you not to Facts. be a fuck boy. Because that's wait, how wait, you wait, know wait, that he's he probably done cheated a couple times and you just ain't wait, 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 wait. You said you've been in a relationship for, uh, for you've been at least in a relationship for five years. years. I, uh, me personally, I would say maybe you said two four. Years. Nah. Uh, yeah, for me, if five years you pop a question, that's a dub. Boy, if you living off a woman Fact. that's true like you a fuck boy if you lie on instagram <laughs> and somebody really know your real life exactly. don't lie on instagram <laughs> when i know how you really we living. know you be we know like when i know what your life really look like don't put oh, exactly. don't put we these stripper you. singles fuck on your instagram too. Oh, fuck. Fuck and we talk about, about them too but you're not talking about fuck girls we're talking about fuck boys i'm going let y'all go i'm let the girls had a time, man. I mean, more fuck boys. <laughs> you a fuck boy if after two years in a relationship you start itching. If you know what I mean. <laughs> and when I say itching, itching, I don't mean herpes. I mean like itching because you feel like you losing your little. 
cool, your yeah. swag. You need to test. You want to see if you still got waters. game. Fuck out of here. You got her. That's it. Girls cheat Fuck after boy. six years. Really? <laughs> what? After six years, women cheat. Nah, but after Wait, two where years, where this philosophy from my grandmother. She cheated about four times. <laughs> what? Listen, yeah, yeah. you a fuck boy if your penis don't have a compass. You put your penis in every single fucking mm-hmm. thing. You need to get your whole Respect fucking life your together. Penis. What if my compass just to find pussy? But you need you, you, you respect listen. It. Your, your dick needs pedigree. If uh, uh, listen, I would not fuck with a nigga if I see who the fuck he fuck with before. Mm-hmm. And if that bitch is complete trash, you got you got a history of trash. I'm not gonna be an upgrade nigga. And you fuck out of here. That's true. You a fuck boy. Moving on. You can get pussy <laughs> from fucking a pretty girl, and a pretty girl's gonna fuck you. Uh, that's a testament. That's a fact. <laughs> Shut up. Pretty girls ain't shit out here. Nah, your dick needs a compass. I don't like fuck boys. Put their dick in. it. Any fucking thing, just say they put a dick in it. Like I like a man. Fuck boy, if you run your mouth, facts about the shit that you. You fuck boy, if you got a group chat. Yeah, I said it. Oh, (laughs) group chat. I fucking said it. I'm a fuck boy like a motherfucker. (laughs) You need a fuck boy friend to your fuck boy group chat. Why can't have a group chat? You a fuck boy? You got a fuck boy basketball? My ass. (laughs) We talk about your ass too. (laughs) Everybody got a group chat. Nah, listen. Only group chat I got on my phone is no, yeah. I only I actually I got only got group chat. chat with guys with my guy friends. That's it. Like, you I said you're a fuck boy. You run your mouth. About yeah. Mouth. Like about you know what? Your, if you a fuck boy, like who, if you if you running your mouth about who you fucking, what you did, whatever. Like, exactly. I girls like, talk more than guys. They girls, girls, girls no, no. Guys first of all, I'm not talking about my sex girls. life unless no, it's a nigga I don't give a fuck about. If it's some dude that I don't care about. Yeah, I'm gonna talk like a, a dude, like yeah. you know. Talk what I mean? like we, a dude? No, talk no, like a girl. No, like he was we about talk, to say. No, we have conversations. Guys have Ooh. conversations like guys, like like. I mean, good? girls have yeah. conversations like guys have conversations. Yeah. Like we talk about y'all, like y'all talk about us sometimes too. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean? We laugh at y'all. We do shit like that too. But my thing is, if I'm dealing with somebody or whatever, like my I don't want my friends knowing my business. You don't need to know nothing that's going on between mm-hmm. me and that person besides Thanks. the fact that we're dealing with each other. Everything Thanks. else is none of your business because people talk too much. But that's something that you have to learn. Because if you tell my business, it's going to be a problem. So I'd rather not say anything. Shout out to my friend Abby for this one. You a fuck boy if you release the nudes. Oh, yeah. You a fuck boy if you release the nudes. I have too many guy <laughs> friends that be like, yo, sis, look at this. Look what this. she sent me. No, nah, but it's I'm like, it's like, I just, that's what that's Make sure they fire. Like know. she said before, I earlier mean, in the show, they got to be fire. I, it's different if you like, oh, look at this. Can you send news to your man? To my man, yeah. So that's you send news then. But that's a different situation. But I might not I always be your man. Not gonna, you know what, though? And it's over after that. You, you can't send nudes. Well, the then, same that's, nudes. that's fucked up. Thing, that's then, fuck that's shit. why we send the same shit. news to yeah. everybody. No, you can't. You gotta <laughs> send shit. So that if that nude gets leaked, you know exactly, exactly where it came from. Exactly. So it's like if I send a news, like I send my news to my man, right? If he if we break up and he decided to leak it, I know where the fuck that came from. I can sue him because I got the exact date. Look at you, that, man. Always trying to be legal. What if he loses that, his phone right before? Uh huh. I had the I have the, the exact date. That. And if nobody else can't come forward, I'm gonna try to sue him yep. for leaking my news. Just Girl, like last last show you said that what? that's corny if a girl like after a girl breaks up with a guy she'd be like oh that's why your dick was little anyway and she been with him it's like, the same corny. exact thing you send my nudes after if i sent you nudes while we were together and you you fucking showing your friends oh. or whatever that's fuck boy shit i release you, you to the oh, world oh, and oh. your nudes oh <laughs> i got one <laughs> you like f- this like ashes yeah it's like this like this be going. <laughs> For me, you a fuck boy if what your friends think about your woman affects how you feel about her. Yep. Ooh. But Ooh, what are they telling you? Wait, wait, wait. I got to defend. Be, being a reformed fuck boy. I gotta, <laughs> I'm a reformed fuck boy. Right? I went you to school. Listen, there's looking huh? out, but there's some yes. niggas that like uh, really change how they, they have the. I went to school. I got my, like, my uh, degree. I'm not a fuck boy no more. But everybody has fuck boy moments. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's when your feelings is hurt. What? That's when your feelings is hurt. We don't Possibly. text you back. And I be crying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't text you, you back. Don't text me back. I thought it came all over your face. Oh, oh my god. They go to ego. Oh my god. They go to ego. Oh my god. Oh, oh, my god. I just put my dick in her mouth and she didn't call me back. This is this <laughs> is so heartening. So it's, it's hurting driven. my heart right now. So petty. <laughs> but gang, you got another one. What was the last one you said? I said you a fuck boy if. How you how your friends feel about your woman affects how you feel What's, about her. What if they got a valid point about stuff? Like certain dudes be bugging. You gotta tell your man, like, listen, 
But She's a hoe. Like, what are you doing? Falling in love with it? Like, you can't do it. And he I can't 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 say. Say. You said last last yeah, show. You, you sure said that you fall in love with a hoe. I can't. I love hoes. I don't care. <laughs> What? You tell me Listen, that you've been the around. Day, the truth is, we all seeking happiness. If, if the person got a pass, they got a fucking pass. That's if that person fact. makes you happy as fuck, but you, why he you need to get know. somebody for everybody? He needs to know, though. And to okay. be honest, he to know. some people just need to live their life and live live their examples. Does that make sense? Like, yes. They got to live it out. To, you can't even but you need to know. But you hands. need to you know. Yeah, but I'm going to be honest with you. That might come across as... Hating? Hating. You, and you being Not too much in somebody else's business. To be honest, I'm sure you fucked a couple girls where your friends was like, what are you doing? She ugly as shit. Nah, 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 All right. Nah, nah, but nah, nah, nah. <laughs> but, <laughs> you but they didn't girls. stop you from doing Lies. that. You know what I'm saying? You kind of was just like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it on my system and then that's it. Like, I think you're a fuck boy if you your friend, this is just a lead up, your friends dictate how you feel about being in a relationship. Yes. So yes. if all your friends around you are single and you feel like, Facts. you like, because they're single, you should be single, like, nigga, grow some nuts. Like, exactly. grow your own life. Your like, own get some friends who want to grow the fuck up. I'm over it. Like, be in a relationship well, when you, you're growing yes, up. Yes, it does. Don't incorporate yes, it being does. in a relationship with growing does. up. It's it don't. Because be you could be single it's and growing and handling all your responsibilities and doing stuff. It's harder to be stuff. in a relationship than it is to be single doing all your. Yes, it is. 100%. But wait, wait. You make you, you incorporate being an adult to being in a relationship. It's you could be an adult, successful, and happy, single. And single as fuck. And fucking everything. How old? At what age does that not become? Until you're okay. ready to settle down, you know your so own self. Just because you're a good girl, don't mean you're the good girl I for me. I could be forty with a cat and no kid, right? That. And no kid, and you're not gonna ask me. It's a it's lot of them. Run, look how many that's CEOs that's and companies why, running wrong, around. Wait, let me see CEO that's, women that's, walking around. Women, it's, around. Women, yeah, it's different women. from women. And most men who are CEOs and stuff, they got their wife. They, you don't see uh, a lot don't. of men. You don't see a lot of CEOs or well-established men. Tyler Perry men. just got married. He's a but he's he has, he, but he's had his issues, and we're not going to touch that. that. We're not going to touch no, he Tyler. Just got, he just had a but, baby. Like, but but he's, he's been open about alone. his his relationship. He ain't been open about struggles. <laughs> like he's been open about his relationship. I don't know struggles. what that means. But what I'm saying is, the, when you usually see a CEO or some man that is of stature and has like his he's well established and everything, he usually has a wife. It's different because women. They tend to, oh, I don't yeah, need a man. Like, those those are those proud women who are like, I don't need a man. I don't blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And men do the same thing, too, especially if he's already <laughs> established and building himself. Why do I need a woman if, no. you, if I'm already if you, there building? If you meet a 40 year old woman that <laughs> Most men want to settle down. No kids has it all together, you're going to ask why. And that's yes. just a fact. But that's, I don't that's care what you person, say, that's You want to say the same thing, too. You meet a man that's successful. She's a fuck girl. Wait, wait, wait. Why she's a fuck girl? Because she's single and she's doing her she thing. She's 40, minding you know, her business. Like, her you're losing years, sis. Like, but most, why, why are you... But let me, can I say something? Don't be in a relationship. Just, no, can no, I say something? Don't say don't incorporate being in a relationship and being a, like, being successful adult. You could be single... Yeah, get your shit together. You could be single, happy, making money... A relationship doesn't make you. That this is true. A marriage doesn't make you. It doesn't complete you. you. Yeah, she's saying like, it doesn't complete you. Like, no, I'm. This is basically what I said. You're going to the next level with this. You just, you just elevated Uh it. But it's okay. I I said that. Upgrade. I said that being in a relationship does make you more mature. It takes. It's more responsibility to be in a relationship than than to be because you have to. You have to work. Having a kid makes you mature. Don't be in a relationship. Yeah, I mean, you you have to. In a relationship, nine times out of ten. Child. Not if true. You, you, just, keep you don't feel like with your relationship that you've matured. What? You don't feel like within <laughs> your relationship that you've matured. You mature because you mature with yourself. You re- you it's mature with yourself, of, but it's based, but it's no, experiences. No, you, there's a lot of people walking around in relationships. That's why people cheat and doing all the crazy shit because you got to wait to grow no, with yourself. No, there's a lot of women you walking around. There's a lot of women walking around in a relationship. Even if I'm 35, but even if I'm 35 and getting into a relationship, I feel like I'm supposed to do that. If I'm not ready, I'm gonna all I'm gonna do is break your heart and hurt you. That's true. So I have you. You personally have to be ready. So let me be single until I'm personally ready to be a good but man to a woman and vice that. versa but you didn't th- you don't have to communicate it because she's making it seem like you got to be in a relationship to be more time mature, out, time so out. you, you know what i meant when i said when your friend is all single as in your friend is all single fucking yeah, every bitch that, that y'all come across in the nightclubs believe me i'm there i understand mm-hmm. trust me mm-hmm. i know what i'm talking about i don't know, that I know me. what i'm talking about okay she definitely you, knows you can on, if you are not a strong person that can feed off off onto you, and that for that, me is I like get caught huge, up in a lifestyle. I ain't never heard no man say I'm you not going to wipe this chick because my friends are single. They're not no, going to tell you. They're not going to tell you. First of all, y'all no, friends 
to each other all the time. You're friends with each other all the time. You're never going to tell your friend, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, Listen, man, I ain't going to mess it up. I never, but that's what you're thinking in your head. That's what you're thinking in your head. It's like you going on a guy's trip. You going on a guy's trip and your friend like, yo, yo, like, won't you fuck that? And you just like, nah, you thinking about your girl, but at the same time, you don't want to look crazy to your niggas either and just be like, nah, I'm not going to fuck that. Yes, you think niggas don't turn out pussy and say, no, I'm good? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But, but, some, but the majority of us like, you think about, like, I'm good. You know what? Listen, you I've, make heard, it like a peer I've heard at men, a certain age, grown men don't fear. Ain't no peer pressure. You know who you are. It doesn't matter. It depends on your maturity. Exactly. Exactly. That's she's what we're saying, saying you're a fuck boy if you do that. She's not saying that every but man does that. Always, of course, because he's here by himself. He's feeling. He, we well, you're not here by girl. yourself, but <laughs> <laughs> don't say that out loud. You know, we don't know what you're talking about. Let's go. Oh gosh. <laughs> Y'all He's, done? You got some more? <laughs> yeah, I'm loaded up. Yeah, you loaded up. Um, I gotta combat some of these responses because some guys don't even know if they fuck boys. <laughs> they saying. don't know. Yeah, I didn't know. And I that's okay. They You'll find know. out. Yeah, we find out now. I know. Uh, like you a fuck boy if you find like petty reasons to not be in a relationship. Like I didn't like her toenails. Oh, so I can't <laughs> wife her. Like, she's right. amazing, but I don't like her fucking toenails. Like, I don't like bitches that don't have white toenails and shit. Like, people really do find petty little shit like that to not to oh, avoid relationships. Fuck petty. boy, you get in your emotions boy. and get super emotional and get petty. Like, like, little What's boy What's up with petty. you and men and emotions? Like, you always talk because about niggas men are emotional. emotional. More emotional women. Niggas are emotional. More emotional. You know how I feel right, about that. that. Exactly. And they you are. You always all these emotional guys. Kind of I've seen a with? lot of emotion, and, and it don't even have to be dudes that I've messed yeah. with. I have a lot of male friends. Like I've seen their emotions, and too. I tell How them like you're being emotional. Enough. Count. <laughs> oh, she's gotta get on my look. They're not emotional. Point blank. Period. They are. They're Everybody has emotions. Everybody's human. Everybody has emotions, but what? Men what? Are emotional, emotional and emotions are two different things. And I've seen guys be super petty just because their girl or some girl did something, and they just they're just picking. Like it's you can be it, it's levels to pettiness. Mm-hmm. And I've seen. Oh my god! I call I've it. I, tra- it I call like, it a diva. I mean, call it what you want, a but diva? you mean a diva. <laughs> like, a dr- that's someone who's dram- a dramatic man is a diva, and it is annoying. Petty wop. It's mm-hmm. so annoying. It's like one of the most. Uh, yeah, like pull your panties up, get out of your feelings. Facts. Facts. Like if you nitpick, that's that's a fuck boy. Fuck boy. If you a nitpick, like don't ask me questions. Don't don't ask me. Like, yeah, oh gosh, like, like if you, you too me, like. What's I mean, too what? Sometimes like oh okay. Here's another. If I say. What do you want to eat? And you too picky. You a fuck boy. <laughs> nah, I'm on, you, Open up your taste buds. I don't got time for that well, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm over you freestyling because everybody got their certain taste and what they yeah, like. Yeah, start. Come on, come on. Try other things. Because I want French fries and you want to eat fucking Chinese food. <laughs> you want General Toast chicken. I no, but if you want boy. French fries every day, come on, man. You a fuck boy. I ain't got time for no, that. Don't Because I want to expand my, your uh, yeah, taste Exactly. That's corny. Expand that palate, bro. <laughs> Have you ever dated a fuck boy? Yes. yes. <laughs> I know you Every know. woman yeah. in the history of womanhood so. has dated a fuck boy. Talk about it. Huh? Because I, I, I can clearly see we're not going to get to the last topic. Today. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can skip over this part. Let's get to the last topic. Nah, Let's not. <laughs> talk about your dating fuckboy. Nah. Boys, I think we did in our, in, our, in our argument. I've dated time. a fuckboy, but I enjoyed it because I didn't want to be single with anybody. Say work. I was being a, I was on my fuck girl. She was not a thousand percent motherfucker. I was happy as shit. <laughs> I mean, people because. Let's no stop asking these questions by a lie. What's wrong with you? But I dated a fuckboy, and he was specifically chosen because I didn't want to be named anything. Specifically? He was specifically fucking chosen. <laughs> he was Take chosen. Take my dad in case you call me. <laughs> but he was chosen because I know to myself that he's going to be perfect for me at that time because he was a fuckboy. He does not want to move forward and have relationships. We, we, what was his we name? Had, we had a... Su- fuck the... Shut the fuck up. We had a... We had a... So, say, it. No, listen, this is what's wrong with black women. We had a... a boy. See, no, so women don't, just don't, let him, don't let him peer pressure. Come on, man. You. No. Don't <laughs> let him peer pressure. Because I'm a respectful don't human being, in the you little fuckboy instigator, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. But at that point in time, where what I wanted, I wanted a fuckboy. That was the thing. I wanted... So and it worked out so beautifully because... It worked out beautifully because of that space I was in, I didn't want that commitment. I didn't. I just wanted somebody who's gonna be around just enough. And fuck boys do that. They're around just enough. Motherfuckers is around just enough. Mm-hmm. But it's what I wanted at that point in my life. Now, fuck fuck boys. I don't want one in my life now. I'm just saying. 
He was being used. Fuck boy. What's his <laughs> name? I'm not. Ask Daniel. What is so corny? Y'all don't say names. It's corny. <laughs> you said what? I said, have you ever dated a fuckboy? I sure have. <laughs> um. What's his name? Don't say his name. <laughs> I will never. I'm not even falling Y'all for his Y'all are so corny. Ain't nobody corny. Wait till like, we talk about fuckboys. What? Fuck so girls. I can leave out of here. I'm just getting. I'm pulling up. 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 Oh, shut up. Um, but. I'm like, yeah, she said Roma. <laughs> um, yes, I have. Um, How many times? A lot? You're like, no, you get a lot of fuckboys. Twice. You hang around guys. I don't have. Well, you should be at a weed and out since you be around guys. But, yes, but, you know, people in the beginning, when you have that honeymoon stage or whatever yeah. you want to call it, people, they appear to be something that sometimes they're not. You know what I mean? And it looks good. It seems like, all right, this could work. And then after a while, true colors start coming out. And it's after just like, had sex whoa, with you, whoa, whoa, right? whoa. No, it's not after. <laughs> sex is, yeah, sex like, is a completely yeah. different topic. No, I'm saying. That's when most no. men, I ain't gonna lie. That's when most men kind of switch up a little bit. Once they have sex with you, especially raw. It's like, like I said, it's I nothing you can tell me anymore. I'm not a man. So I, I, oh, I'm no, telling no, you no. as a man. Okay. This is okay. what I was telling you before. So I should That's believe in your okay. philosophy. You should. Okay. But, um, yeah, I have. And people, you know, they they start showing their true colors and you start seeing it for what it is. And then you just act accordingly. And what's that? Depends. You stay. Sometimes you could try to wing it out and see if things change. And sometimes you got to go. It's that simple. How long did it take you last time you fuck with a um, fuck boy before you was like, I'm out of here, fuck it? Um, two years. Damn. What? How many relationships you said you had? So you could weed it out. Huh? Four. Four? Huh? It took you a few years to get rid of a fuck boy. Do you realize he was a fuck boy early? She was probably no. young. Yeah, he was younger. No, I didn't. She wasn't young. I was like two years ago. Shut the fuck up. Shut the hell up. She's still getting over there. Talk about your fuckboy experience. Um, I Drew just saved you. Drew, wow. <laughs> Drew was a fuckboy when I met oh, him. Oh, okay? he had a fuckboy. And fuck he, boy he will tell, he will let you know that he sure was. I'm sure there's a lot of women out there that will say Drew's a fuckboy, and I'm okay with that. Why is he? I a changed fuck? his whole life. He changed mine too, so I'll give it to him. I'm good, perfectly man. air five to my man. Find that person. Air it's not you, sis. It's not you, sis. <laughs> but you know it's what? Not you. you know what? In that defense, I was it's kind of you. a fuck girl because I think I. I was purposely picking fuckboys because I wasn't ready to really settle down. You see, low key, like and and, and you I had picked to, the no good. You know the nigga I had ain't to no say, good. But because I was like, you know what? If he if he could change me, then cool. Like change it was more you? so like a cha- challenge. Like if he could make me feel feel like emotional for him, like let's let's do it. Women love a challenge. They love trying to get the worst nigga in the hood and try to make him do better. Like, yeah. this, yeah. this nigga dropped out of third grade. He's not gonna get his GED for you. Yeah. It's like, very very true. Get Some men, just, men, they just have to be ready. That's what, like I had to be ready, they had to be ready. But yeah, I, I had said a, that I dated a, a fuck boy, and it was pretty. It was, you know what? It made me heart a little heartless after dating a fuck boy. So if you're a fuck boy, please choose to be a fuck boy in you know one night stand situations. Don't try to gas a girl up and be mm-hmm. that fuck boy, cause you will ruin a good chick for the next man when you do that. But it took me like two years to get over, and then I was you know good. It took you two yeah, years to get over. I had get to get over it. It took me like two years like, to get over it. Yeah. You just don't want. They don't to get heartless. Women try to act heartless, but they don't really be heartless. Uh, they be still in their emotions. They just still be. I mean, you can not. still be in your emotions, but you it's, learn how to shut it yeah. off. Yeah, you don't want to deal. It's say. like you just learn how to shut it off. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it is what it is. It's not like I'm. I'm on some shit. Like you know what I mean. Like it is what it is. Whatever's meant for me will be for me. Like. I don't got time. You like heard I'm, me sound yeah. hurt, sis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't. We don't talk about We don't do therapy, sis. <laughs> you a dickhead, son. I can't yeah, what you was about to say, girl? No, I'm just saying, like, I was How in the agree with... How could you fix you? Huh? Because you was a fuck girl. How I was a fuck girl. He was a fuck boy, but we just met at the right time or passed across at the right time. He had a moment, I had a moment, and it worked out. Is there's no formula to it. There's no, like, oh, my God, him, I must drop all my fuck boy ways or fuck girl ways. Whatever is just... Cause Cause it's all about the person. Like some it, it people make down. you want to stop being inconsiderate and yes. just fucked up. And I'm just... not gonna lie, he's gonna kill me for saying this. But when I met him, and I, I we talked about this before, she like did. I met no, oh, I met him. Talking. But it was like when I met him first, I wasn't about to be serious with him. 
I really Nobody's met him on about some. To be serious and no, but I met him with like like how I targeted a fuck boy. Like I didn't want to be serious. That was in that was in my mind. Like I didn't want to be serious with with him at all. But I have some friends like yo. He looked like, like he didn't have potential. Not even that. It wasn't about him. It was just more of me. Like I thought he was attractive. He was a handsome guy. He looks good. Whatever, whatever. He's fun or whatever. Like so, I, I kill time with him and I feel bad. But at the same time, I didn't want to attach. But I like sat down with two of my friends to like Lakeisha. Like, you know, he's a cool dude. Like, just give him a chance. I'm like, why? It always takes wanna... good friends to say, like, you need to I stop I don't want to give him a chance. <laughs> I want to still be a fuck girl. I don't want to be exactly. a fuck girl. Like, <laughs> I can I ride out 2017 and catch y'all January 2018 on this shit? They're like, no, just try. I just and I mean, I too. did. And I genu- I gave him a, a genuine chance. I didn't tell my friends, like, ah, well, I'll give him a chance. And not, I give him a genuine chance. And it turned into something great. You know, that's what. Be and one of the friends is a really good close guy friend. Stop fucking y'all guy friends. Like you need guy friends to guide you. <laughs> I'm just saying, but that's what happened. But I'll I'll say this. I went into that situation originally not on some I want a relationship shit. I don't think nobody goes into a situation. Some people do. Some people like oh, I see this person with potential to be with me that's and them the person. Them. But y'all met like No, we sh- didn't. We know each other for years before that. Oh for real? Yeah, like we we, we were acquainted for years. You know, he mm. shot his shot a couple times. This is not cookie. He wanted you to be Look, I'm like, this is not cookie we're talking about. <laughs> we are talking about cookie. Oh, okay, we're talking, he about, wanted cookie. You. We're talking about cookie. He wanted yes. you. Okay, cool. he, wanted, he shot his he shot, shot, shot a couple, couple times. I got the DMs, bro. I'm going to show you. Mm. But he shot his shot a couple times. He's, and I was like, I'm going to just give this motherfucker a chance because I really want a relationship anyway. Yeah, whatever. Plus, he's younger than me. so like, That shit would never manifest uh, into my relationship. He's like two, two and a half years younger than me. But, um, oh, but I got. He came out of the friend zone. He wasn't even in the friend zone. He was, he was just curving it, it was shit. it was literally like Curve. I just came out of a relationship and I was like, I I don't I'm not a waiter. Some people are waiters. I'm not a waiter. I'm like, let me just I know where I am, my space is emotionally, but I know and I know how to lock that off, but I'm not projecting on other people. Like you people hell because I'm hurt. So I could date. I'm one who could date and What's still be sign? hurt. <laughs> I'm Aquarius. Oh, I me can too. date. <laughs> and me too. Yeah. 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 I but that's what I'm saying. I'm one of those. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can date right away without honest. affecting other people. But I knew, like, I, at least what I was going into when I met him. Honestly speaking, like, I really didn't want a relationship at that point in time. But he turned out to be one of the best things that ever happened to me. Oh. So, oh. shut up. Oh, <laughs> so. <laughs> I hear the violins though. As you oh. yeah, me too. <laughs> It's good to see you with a glow, man. Yeah. It's good. Well, shut you know? up. Good job. I put on some weight. Leave me alone. I, happy yeah. weight. Hello. Happy weight. I'm yeah. with the happy Let you weight. Let's tell shit. it. So I eat rasta pasta four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> he buys me rasta pasta four in the morning. Don't be a hater. Boy. Anybody else want to talk about their fuckboy uh, situation? I think I've already. Because we're not gonna. I'm not gonna even jump into the next topic because it makes no sense. So we can keep going because it's already eight o'clock. We Jeez, be, yo, we, yeah, we, but maybe we could maybe we could, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe we could cover no up the, the last <laughs> topic talking. real quick. Oh, maybe what yeah. we got? Ten There's minutes. No way. Well, yeah, we could. Fuck it. We go minutes. ten minutes. I right, last time we talked about biz. What's the fascination with women in biz? Uh, yeah, this is gonna be quick. <laughs> yeah, I like beards bids. because I'm just into fake. I'm just into. Cookie ain't got beard. He doesn't have a beard. I tell you his ass. He's, he ain't passed puberty yet. But I like. Oh my lord! I like beards because like I just like hair on men like y'all do the whole manscaping shit i like hair i think i think it makes men look rugged handsome like i like it makes you look a little bit more mature. but it just came out of nowhere with like i think Rick now Ross bitches just, bitch, bitches just ride waves like nah, that's, that's the wave is. ride nah, i was in college in philly they all have however philly, however nah. my thing is philly. i've always liked my sister. but <laughs> i've always liked body hair and facial hair it's always been my thing that's nasty. i like body hair i, I like hate a little body chest hair. i know but you know why? Listen, oh, listen. I, I never realized. I, 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 I didn't realize I, tell somebody, I hated it. I, I tell somebody this. <laughs> listen, I seen it. listen, <laughs> listen. I'm a dad. Listen, I'm a daddy's shit. girl, and my father's a hairy man. Mm-hmm. So like, I grew up my entire life seeing a hairy man. So I'm desensitized to the whole. Oh, I don't like I'm body hair. So, so I'm accustomed very, to it. My so I don't mind sick. it. My heart part is hairy <laughs> as shit, but me and my dad is like this. So maybe that's what it is. Why I don't mind body hair, but I you have to have some body hair on you for me to find you. And the fucking thing is like. Bears are cool. I never 
I like groomed beards. Like yeah. I don't just like That's beards. Like the rose, the I know, nah. but you know, some people have beards and they don't look mm. rose ish. Yeah, but not not all of them. Nah. Shits I like about a room. like my my man got like a two now. I, I'm happy with a two and a shaped up two, I like very cut. shaped up clean two. I'm not. I don't know. Yeah. I'm you know not big on beards. First of all, I like beard, but I like clean. First of all, you know what's crazy. That's I like I like mm-hmm. the rugged look. Like I, it's crazy. I like when like the hairline is growing out and the hair is not growing. I don't nah, know. I'm a fucking weirdo. I like weirdo. Sharp, I like I'm clean. a fucking weirdo. Sharp, like I, li- yeah, that's I like me. Clean. That's me. I like my body hair. I like my hair. When, when your hair start growing. Now out. I hate. I don't chest know. Hair. Call me. Oh, what the fuck you want to call me? If we're together, I find it cute. Like when you need a haircut or something like that. That's cute. But when you get that good from the nah from the time you get that haircut, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> like, <laughs> why you? Why your why hair you, so yeah, clean? Like, why you look so you, nice you and shit? <laughs> why? Why are we going out tonight? <laughs> Where are we going tonight, honey? <laughs> well, do y'all think um beards are makeup for men? Yes, <laughs> yes. I think the beards and yes. a hat are makeup Be- for men. They are the filters yeah. for men. Hat and a beard and <laughs> no, makeup for line, men. Put the hat back. Tell that man to take his hat off and see what he's really working with. Well, because dudes be having on hats, you be like, oh my god. Mad good, take off that hat like it's, it's like a wig. They pull their wig off like Ooh, it definitely is a wig. You, you need a if, if you think about Boy. it, I put, I put on a hat when I'm trying to Call be low hat. key and, and my hair is not really done. Not you, but no, me. no, no. I wear a hat wear because I need a wig. I'm so not my like, hair why should I, I like feel hats. any different about y'all? Take that off. <laughs> I mean, first of all, my hair, wear. my waves are spinning. Let's just be clear. It's like you, but. I wear a hat because I so like hats. Even make up I love hat. hats. Too, like, yeah, your feelings make up. A hundred percent. A lot of niggas I know. Lot niggas be coloring. They be getting the booty in Beijing. Whatever that's dude, called. They be getting the booty. Listen, they, and die. listen, motherfuckers. It's like a girl after. Said a nigga could get a bed and go from like a six to like a nine. Facts, yo. Like facts. Your space. We, Facts. Like when you see, That's why I always clean cut, y'all. You see everything. You listen. had a bed at one point. But you see everything. Listen, at the end of the everything. At the end of the day, your physical, blast. you a dickhead. <laughs> at the end of the day, your phys- you know what to do with your physical to make yourself look your best. Like a girl could know if you wear short curly hair or long straight hair, what works best for your face. <laughs> Men figure that out too. If I wear a hat or wear a snapback or grow a beard, I look better. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, but it's still a fucking filter, motherfucker. Like you can't tell me take my eyebrows off and you can't shave your beard right. off. Like, I'm just saying, it's kind of extreme, but same shit. Same That's motherfucking why you gotta shit. Get a guy that can do both. Biz. <laughs> get a no rather do both. Yeah, do you both, feel like you man. could do both? I don't feel like it. I know what the fuck I could oh, do. Oh, he took it. Oh, you yeah. got compliments when you had a bed? Yeah, I get compliments when I get a bed. Compliments when I got a fucking rapist face. The no, <laughs> no hair on my face. My you know what I'm saying? With a little goatee. I can have a rapist little Hitler face. mustache. Oh, you know, I, I do all right for myself, man. Somebody gonna like us a little bit. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I got uh, lace fronts, lace from yo, beards now. Yeah, I got well, lace about, front eyebrows and beards, motherfucker. Question. How you feel about the lace front beards? That's hell like, no. What? That's hell. We don't no. talk about that. I would take haircut for men. I mean, what's yeah. that hair, hair club for men? When they get the the what's name? I would take that over a lace front. Hell no. Wow. Hell no. You take Y'all off your wig. We take off our shit. No. 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 Just like I'm sure you could tell if it's a lace front. Just like you could tell when a woman. So what? Some women with lace front look good. Fuck out of here! I slapped that shit. <laughs> no. All right. For mm-hmm. me, as, I'm, I'm a wig wearer, so I can get the whole men are fighting back about them wearing a no lace front. So you be wearing a kettle black. And fuck out of here. If I say no lace front, front however, yeah. I prefer natural facial hair because it speaks to your level of maturity physically, like your level of testosterone and stuff, and how much masculinity you have naturally. Well, what if you got the Jay Z face? Be confident with yourself. Well, Jay Z wanted get to get a, a bed. He just put a lace front on. Like, fuck. <laughs> 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 He ain't a man no more. Like Jay's the man. Like he gonna wanna see what I mean. He wanna wear he wanna wear a beard. He can meme him, but he ain't gonna make him broke. Like, he wanna be. No. Nigga never had no facial hair. Like no. who the fuck? No. Maybe he doesn't Jay Jay shave his off or he just has I don't know that what hair. the fuck he do. He don't have facial hair. Now what if he came he shaves out it off. I think he shaves the Grammys it off. with a big brick Ross beard? You so know what time it is. Nah, I don't think but but you know crazy Jay wouldn't look good with a facial with facial hair. Jay would not how his head is shaped, he would not look good with fucking facial hair. I'm saying. That's why he don't grow it out. Maybe that's why he don't grow it out. He had the bed, all you see was his He neck. doesn't have <laughs> usually men without facial hair normally have four C coily hair. Like really four C coily. 
You don't speak natural hair? Or C. You no, don't he speak don't natural hair? Natural. I know what you're talking about. Girls. The four C coily hair. I have, 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 Natural what? Hair? Oh yeah, now we need to have a natural hair talk about the the we breakdown. Nah, no, not break the down. not the natural hair versus we we need to do the natural natural hair, hair period. No, we ain't yep. Gonna do that. But not, I, I just find that <laughs> shut the fuck up. I just find that Sorry, men with four C hair. I try, I try, I try ladies. I try. Cookie has four C as fuck hair. Like he got yeah. that Mine nice nap on Mine his shit. But he don't have no fucking facial. You freak don't know what you talk about. <laughs> freak don't even know what you talk about. Well, this is the end of the show. <laughs> we touched on that real quick. We didn't even have to go into that. Uh, shout outs. Yeah. Who started going? I'll go first. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Skylandish. I have a healthy grocery list up on my website if anybody is interested in some assistance on how to get healthy while you're in the, shop, um, in the supermarket. Then we got a shipping fitness party on August 20th. You can Ooh. register for that at strippingfitness.com. Um, and then, of course, the party. When's the party? August, uh, August 27th. August 27th as well. Let them know. See? Get <laughs> um... Shout out to all the supporters I see and who join in the comments. Shout out to my homeboy Malik because I seen you and I told you that if I didn't see you join in, I was going to slap shit out you. Ooh. But thank you <laughs> for Not joining in Malik. Um, <laughs> nah, we always, <laughs> we always joke and go back and forth. Um, August 27th, please get your tickets. You know, I've sent some, some personal invitations. Um, Black's not here. Black, we, we don't miss, miss him. you. I miss Black. We I miss, miss Black. He's stop lying. We don't miss him. Stop lying. Stop lying. I miss <laughs> Black. <laughs> two nine forty with two nines two nine on me. On me. <laughs> you know what I mean. I and can. it's your favorite tomboy. Follow me on Instagram at your favorite tomboy. You'll see me in the comments. And y'all, Majet, take it out, Tanya. Take it out. I ain't even speak. Um, you I told you. That you play your pos- I keep telling her. What? <laughs> no, we don't. It's like skin women up here, man. Yeah, <laughs> man. Uh, you, can, you, you can catch me on Instagram. I am underscore by Tanya. Facebook.com by Tanya. Snapchat.com by Tanya. Everywhere else, just Google me by Tanya. Pinterest, all that good stuff. You can follow me. So I'm going to shout out today my friend Jasmine um, of Vels Monroe, Helena's uh beauty here and closet royale she has three businesses and she's 23 she's 23 she's 22. 23 <laughs> but uh you can on my page all of her stuff is there on my page you can find her also so shout out to my friend support her black business three three for three and a bachelor's degree so Ooh, nice support boss. my friend three, for three and a bachelor's degree nice Ooh, boss, Ooh, boss. boss. <laughs> <laughs> all right real quick before we um end off i just want to say a rest in peace my nigga z he got yeah. he got killed right. on Monday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We gotta stop the hate out here. If niggas out here trying to do good, support the community, and just a good brother, let that brother live, man. You ain't gotta kill nobody. Um, other than that, August 27th, we got the part two coming, the brunch day party. Uh, handsome 15 Instagram live around Facebook. Y'all already know what time it is. Um, like again, get your tickets now because y'all already know the price is gonna go up. And I wanna hear shit later, man. All right? You turning your phone off, man. Huh? You turning your phone off, not paying your bill. Y'all already know I ain't paying my bill. Turn my phone off, man. All right? I'll see y'all next week. Let's get it.